I was in industry for a number of years at RSA, chief scientist, and ran uh, RSA labs. Yes. Yes. Uh, what is in, uh, uh, no, I, I went, uh, into, uh, to, uh, into, uh, to, uh, into, uh, joined Cornell Tech. I'm focusing on blockchain-oriented projects. Very rich. Uh, smart contracts in particular, uh, uh smart contracts in particular, uh are relevant soon. In a previous life I did work, in a previous life I, in a previous life I did work on proof of work. There's so much cinematic material here. It's now sort of degenerated. You're wearing trousers. When I first came here, I came with smart contract. What are they good for? You're wearing trousers. So we realized you're wearing trousers, that smart contracts were perfect, and I saw in smart contracts an opportunity also in the physical realm as a warning to the community. There's some ways that the community can police itself responsibly, an organization um, uh, whose mission actually would, is uh, to, to, uh, into uh, looking to, uh, to make a quick buck. The opportunity to see things unfolding in real time. Um, uh, so the goal, as I said, is to take advantage of this is what makes research so exciting. I have no idea where, where the next idea is going to, going to come from. Beauty of blockchain, you right. can stick encrypted data in a smart contract, but you can actually add two numbers. Spooky moon math conceal secrets from the, uh, the entity of trusted hardware which also has its pros and cons. You know, I'm a big fan, but um, there are security issues. So this remains a big technical challenge as well, and it's, it's one that I, I regard as absolutely critical to smart contracts' uh, broad adoption. Avoid the confidentiality problem by not putting any data on the blockchain. You're, yeah. uh, you're uh, t uh, into uh, blockchains. Don't make a lot of sense to me. I've never understood the use of blockchain. Blockchains are not great. Don't make an awful lot of sense to me. Creation of new types of financial instrument. Uh, this is something that smart contracts are already realizing. The smart contracts are going to enable people to create a whole new host of financial instruments. We'll be creating that's financial that's instruments that don't even fit into existing categories or, huh. or buckets. This idea is, is very appealing. Defining and achieving correctness turns out to be very hard. Enable contracts to execute in such a way that um, uh, uh, into uh, getting uh, reliable, uh, authentic, real-world data to smart contracts, just bridging the the, uh, the gap between blockchains and other digital systems. Any interesting smart contract needs access to real-world data. How do you ensure that smart contracts get uh, reliable access to fresh data? That turns out to be a, a hard problem, uh, and this amounts to constructing good oracles, as they're, they're often called. Creating good interfaces between blockchain systems and legacy systems. This sounds like a really mundane problem, but it could end up being pivotal. Could end up being pivotal if existing institutions and industries are going to embrace blockchain technology, they're going to be able to need to do this in a gradual way. This is super important.